Today we're talking about the Rogers pocket knife and distinction in your organization. I'm Michael Colley and I help you bring more of who you are to what you do. The Rogers pocket knife has been made in Sheffield, England by hand for just over 250 years. And one of the ways that you can tell that it is a Rogers knife is on the bottom of the blade where the name of the knife maker uh, is, there is the classic trademark for uh, the knives made by Rogers in Sheffield, Eng England of a star and a Maltese cross. And this knife I've had for a little while. I really uh, love the feel of it. It's got a really nice weight and balance. Uh, the knife is actually made, uh, the knife is made out of blade, it's made out of stainless steel. The knife is made with uh, brass and uh, brass pens and Delrin. And Delrin is just a fancy word for a really hard plastic that polishes really beautifully. And uh, as you can tell, the knife has a really nice shine to it. it, uh, it it's sculpted or manufactured in a way that just feels really good when it has a nice weight in your hand. Uh, in an organization, we want to bring the best of who we are for the organization's purpose. And sometimes, I've been challenged to know how much weight should I put on my distinction. In other words, I want to make sure that I am contributing to the organization's success, and when I contribute, I want to make sure that my contribution is noticed in a way that will help me to continue to move forward in that organization. And the challenge is, how much do I share with others my contribution, my distinction, and how much do I allow others to pick up on it as well? And I don't think there is any real answer for this other than evaluating the culture in the organization that you currently find yourself in. And I think that's really the best method of practice. I have read and heard and watched other YouTubers talk about the value of promoting self I've always been a little bit reluctant to do that, but I do want to feel good that when I do good work, my work gets noticed. So my challenge to you is to be present with your work in a way that others notice and that you share in ways that are within the culture of your organization and not in the culture of the organization that you came from, which may be what you know. Because if you were used to talking about what you did quite a bit to get ahead in your previous organization, and the current org organization wants others to notice rather than to hear you talk about it, talking extensively about it yourself is not going to be helpful for you. So that's one thing to remember in terms of balancing our distinction in our work in an organization. I'm Michael Colley, and I help you bring more of who you are to what you do. If you've liked this video, please click the like button, comment, and subscribe below.